Welcome back, Router 102. I think this is episode three now, and um, we're going to make some super awesome coasters, all from scrap wood. And anyone can make these, absolutely anyone, I promise. So uh, stick around. Okay, so this episode um, I'm going to be using a surfacing jig, a very, very simple jig, to basically thickness and surface small timbers in this case but there's actually no reason why you can't build this jig to whatever size you need um, assuming you've got a big enough router and the patience to to make the passes let's talk about the, the jig that i made i've used mdf i would recommend if you've got any using some melamine face pour purely because i like to use hot melt glue the melamine will, will just last a bit longer i've, I've basically just used off cuts um there's a piece of nine mil three eighths mdf on on the base and then i've stacked up two strips of 18 mil on the edges and it, it's nice to use mdf on this because the, it is a fairly consistent or much more consistent and stable material and you can just apply as well i had mdf and um, so you get a much closer tolerance to perfectly flat on there and then i've just screwed this cleat on the back like a bench hook to keep the jig still as these start to get a little bit higher bring the, the jig up higher and the, all i've been doing is basically screwing on more pieces the other part of the jig is again another piece of nine mil mdf what i've done is just with a, a hole saw i cut a hole with a cutter to, to go through and then counterboard some holes for the base plate of my router to use the two fixing points so that I can screw that on the top there and keeps it fixed. I then put two thin strips on the end just to stop it from going too far over so the colour doesn't hit into the sides and did that on both sides and then just to make things a little bit more stable I added these two handles on here. Probably the most you have to think about is where to put the holes for your mounting point on your router and that's going to be completely different depending on what router you have. I used the, the same technique in one of the episodes on Router 101. It goes through how to uh, mark it out and so go and have a look at that. I'll leave a link. The only other thing to mention is the cutter. This is your standard straight flute cutter which, um, which works okay. I have found that you get a tiny little almost like a, a witness line where the cutter goes it does the job but it needs a bit of sanding what i found to be a much better option are, are these and surprise surprise they're specifically for for surfacing this one is the one i'm probably going to be using and again it's a flat bottomed cut the difference on this one is it's got a slight i don't know if you can see that a slight radius on the on the edge if i compare that to you know your normal straight cut i.e this rounded edge you don't get that that line on your um, on your piece when you're machining it so this is what i'm uh, i'm going to be using but all of those cutters will do the job but this is the one i've found to be um be the best and i'll put a, a link to to both these cutters down in the, the description one's a, a trend cutter the other one's a wielding cutter but let's do some routing because that's what i want to do and i guess that's what you want to see just with this large piece with a hot melt glue it along there and along there and then do the same on the back. I don't want to put too much on because it would just be a pain to get off at the end. It's not like I'm trying to route a, you know, a big trench in here or anything like that. I'm really taking off you know, paper thin pieces. I have set the depth using the depth stop in exactly the same way you'd, um, you'd set it with anything else. I don't want to take off too much in one go. Uh, loosen off the post, raise the stop up and then just slide that between the post it's resting on and we can drop it down again. Now if you've got a hot air gun you can warm this glue up um, and it goes all like runny as it was when we put it on. But I don't have one so I'm going to use my marking knife just to basically weaken the joints
you're a hot air gun manufacturer out there then let's talk certainly not brave enough to use my other half's air drum super easy 
I, I kind of made life a little bit difficult for myself in trying to avoid all the kind of layers that you'd have with, with brickwork or, um, or the, the coating board and try to move them all around. But um, if you build it in layers, then it goes a lot more smoothly and a lot quicker. So, um, you know, if you've got a bandsaw to slice them down in a, in a log, you can, you can batch them out fairly quickly. If you haven't got a bandsaw and you make the log big enough, then to be perfectly honest, you could cut it with a handsaw because you're going to surface it anyway. And um, I didn't even sand these, so uh, they are, well, I didn't sand the, the tops anyway, I was here, just sanding the, the round overs. But they're super easy, and I say anyone can make them. I made seven, well, I had enough to make seven, so uh, I've got a little spare one here. Um, there won't be a router video next week, um, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I know, boo hiss. Um, I'm going to be absolutely crazy busy next week. I've got two jobs to work on, and I'm actually going to be going to the Ickworth House Wood Fair um, down at Ickworth House in Suffolk. So if you're going to that, if you're in the area, um, I'll be there on a Saturday, by all means, come up, say hello. I really would genuinely like to uh, meet the people that sit and watch these videos, um, hopefully have a chin wag. So that's Saturday. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, the following week, I'm going to be over at the NEC at W14, which is a four day woodworking event. Um, helping the guys from Peer UK. So we're going to be demonstrating some of their awesome new uh, clamps that they're, um, they're going to be bringing to market. If you've never heard of Peer, I'll leave a link down in the description and check out my website because I did a, a write up of some woodworking clamps and I'm also going to be doing a write up on some other clamps that I've been looking at this last few weeks that you may or may not have seen in the videos. Um, so there won't be a video on, on Friday and to be honest there probably won't be one the following Friday either. Um, but what I am going to do is part of the kind of prep work for W14 I've got to make a, a kit form bench that we can use, so I will be putting that up, not on this channel, but I'll be putting it up on my second channel and I'll leave a link down for that as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be super busy. So there may even not be a video in a fortnight's time, which kind of sucks, but I'm going to be approaching my 100th video very, very soon. So stick around for that, seriously, particularly you guys in the UK, stick around for that. Till next time, I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you'll enjoy future projects. And, um, you know, two weeks off, well, two weeks off for you watching the videos, but um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time, which hopefully won't be too long. Stay safe.